seems like this school year I vlog more on Sundays and the weekends more than I vlog for like the week. I don't know why. But it's currently 5 a.m. Like 5.09. I just woke up. Um, 5.09. I just woke up. I'm gonna take a little bit of time to like decompress and wake up and then we have a lot of stuff to do yes we do we always have a lot of stuff to do so let's see where the day will go so um yeah my phone ate me for like four ish hours and then i took another nap yep sunday feels but there's a lot to be done i got guilty and did some stuff but not related to um schooling so i fixed up my dorm a little bit this was my to-do list last week and i finished everything i just didn't check anything um the rest up except for editing i didn't do that but i already brought out the trash yesterday and then i'm bringing my laundry to the laundromat now I already picked up the dorm, which is what I did, and Charlie only baths every other week, sometimes every week, but he doesn't stink yet, so I'm not gonna bathe him yet. I did the floors yesterday, and then I can't meal prep yet, because my fridge is still full, like, really full. Yeah, I gotta eat some stuff out of there first before I can prep, but I fixed up this. You don't see it much, but I moved some stuff around, making, trying to fit the eggs there, and then, what else I do? Oh, condensing some stuff and moving some stuff, and then I moved my books here from there, where the decorations are, because I'm scared this is gonna, like, not take the weight of my books, because my books are, like, a lot like those two were there two of those were there and then the rest of the ones down here so like half of them are power bound and I don't want it to ruin furniture I'm gonna take Charlie to the laundromat with me and get that checked out for the morning I'm also still washing Charlie's um, dog bed he made two the other day because I don't go home often enough for him. I don't know. I think he does that when he's making papansin. Oh, that's him. Just look at him. So cute. 11 o'clock and now I'm going to go to the laundromat. And Charlie is impatient to go. Oh no, you see my... There you go. He's impatient to go. And we're going. We're back, we're back. I brought my laundry down. Puti na lang I went na kasi biglang pumagyo and I bought an onion. Now I have everything that I need to make spaghetti later today. Where's my... I know I have... There you go. I found it. I have mushrooms. I love mushrooms. I have everything to make spaghetti. The rest is in the fridge. Um, but na talaga na uwi na ako kasi it's making bagyo right now. I'm gonna start... Actually got home like 10 minutes ago. But, once again, my phone, social media eats me a lot. So now I'm gonna go and try to do some homework. I had, I had 15 no Friday, today Sunday. So I believe I had 15 no Friday and then I had two due on Friday. So I did that on Friday and then last night I did one and a half. So now I have 12 on my canvas assignments. So I'm gonna try and have that this morning. <laughs> but it's already 11.30. So I'm gonna try and have that this morning. Um, and then study pathol. I really do need a good score there. Like, I really do need one. So, um... Yeah, I'm gonna hit the books later today, and then I need to 
do some homework. So let's do some homework. I hope I can get it done. So I'm gonna show you my calendar homework. I also need to update my like October calendar because um oh I already have one open because um my calendar doesn't have okay I'm gonna show you. Okay, these are all my to dos. It's mostly like there's five. I think this is para. Yeah. There's five para and a lot of surgery and then two patho. And that's it. I'ma try and do all the surgeries first and then the paras and then the pathos. Because the pathos, I still have to print this and then write it down because we have to have it like handwritten and then this is my calendar of the moment as of the moment um yeah it's not that empty <laughs> i need to fill it up so i'm gonna do that i just removed my september one and i actually have to find the rest of them because they're somewhere up there i don't know where i have so much stuff but then i don't know i am having an identity crisis as a minimalist because i have so much stuff here at the dorm where i think i'm using them a lot like most of the things i am using i think i'm gonna make a video soon about how like what i've been here like a month so maybe on like the two or three month like period i'm gonna try and do a video of everything that I haven't touched since I moved it here that I brought, maybe. And then I'll do also a count how many items I have in my dorm. Because I did that in my last dorm and it was like 300 something. But I didn't bring as much then because I knew I was going to go home every weekend. And now I brought everything I want and need here. Because I, I ain't the home boy. Like, today Sunday and I'm right here. So, yeah. Now, let's do homework and fill up calendars. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay, I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time I just got back my canvas on my iPad It's been a while since I had it here um, I just usually open either my laptop or my phone for it Because I can't put it on last time that I did it I have 11 to-dos left I already did one I, I was hoping I could show you the 15 Because that was the most I have seen in canvas ever that I had things to do um, but I am gonna pass another one so that's gonna go down to 10 and it's already 1 p.m. so great and the one that I did was not even the one that is due today or tomorrow it's the one due on Tuesday I did this one surgical oncology but we're gonna continue to do more I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change Been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same As they were a year ago But all will be okay um, my, the laundromat just texted that, um, the laundry just got back and Charlie really wants to go again. And, uh, I just got finished doing that. Oh, and he's so excited. Let's go. We're going to the laundromat. He doesn't know where we're going. He just knows we're going. 4.30. I learned something today that my 
screen time app lock thing on my phone does work for me that i stop using tiktok and instagram and stuff charlie just bumped you but um i turned it off for the day for tiktok now i have been on tiktok more than i have been studying doing homework anything so yeah i hope that resets tomorrow because or else yes that is not good also i will be bringing down my time on tiktok from an hour to 30 minutes starting tomorrow because i realized it's just that time i need to study more I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago see me but walang kuryente <laughs> outside like I am showing you outside it's a long time now I can show you outside because you can't see it you can't even see me there's kuryente in like the building beside me I think they have generator but the rest nothing you can't see also, since I have been filming, okay, let's do something about this lighting. But since I have been filming um, the entire day, my phone is only on 24%. Thank you, iPad, for um, giving me light. But um, yeah, I'm almost done with my homeworks. I have my last two that I want to do for the day. Actually, I'm on my last one, my last number. Um, but I need to preserve my phone battery. I am on 24% as I've said. So I'm gonna finish this using my emergency light, which has proven to become useful um, here in Val because we often have power outages, which I don't understand why we do because we live in the metro. And um, this is still the metro, even if I call it like Provincia. This is a metro area, so. Great. Also, I was gonna make spaghetti already. Cause hey, like sabi ko, after after I finish all my homeworks, I'm gonna make spaghetti. But then, um, you know, my stove is electric, so there's no electricity. Galang. I can take a bath. That's what I can do. I can take a bath. I have ebon of water, so that's great. This is my current setup. I just need to write this one down. My pads there. Her light. Yeah. There you go. Turned everything off, but I need it as light. I need to buy candles or get candles from house. I don't know. Power just got back on. So that was like around 45 minutes of no power. I uh, what I do in the 45 minutes. Finished my homework. Passed my homework. And then I was getting ready to take a bath, but there's light now, so I'm gonna cup first before it runs out again, like if it goes out or whatever. But I am charging everything right now, everything that needs to be charged. And then I'm gonna make spaghetti, take a bath. What else do I need to do? Make plancha, all of that. And study is yes, the most important part. 10 p.m. and I'm gonna start studying for my path off. Um, this always happens. It's always the last thing that I do. Just so wrong. But I did everything on my list. Um, the path off quiz is on the work right now. And remember when I said I would just have my to-do list? Um, I have like five left, I believe, or four. I'm gonna check. Oh. I turned off my Wi-Fi, but I have five or four homeworks left um, that is due on Friday. 
and then I picked up my door, did my laundry, um, and also meal prep. I'm gonna show you my meal prep. My sister's birthday is on Tuesday, the third. This is what I made. This just that's not everything I made. That's what's like done. I'm gonna have that for breakfast. That's why it's out there, and because need na kasi sa ref ko. My ref is tiny, like. Like really tiny, not even up to my hips. Maybe just my knee. Just above my knee. And I did all my dishes. I'm so proud of myself. My sink is clean. Everything's clean. That's just my panale. But here's my fridge. It's puno again. <laughs> I emptied it like this morning. Like Charlie ate the rest of the pork from last week. And then I ate the rest of the other stuff. <laughs> So that we can like empty the fridge out. But yeah, I have three containers of that. Spaghetti sauce. One, two. And then there's a third one right there behind. My kapit bahay gave me sinigang. Which I'm gonna make baon tomorrow. Um, Because I have a long break. I'm gonna make baon that sinigang. Or else there would be a fourth container there. Of spaghetti sauce. And that's everything that I did for meal prep. I'm gonna say goodbye in this clip already. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And before I forget, hi, my name is April. I'm a second year. Charlie wants to get out. Give me a sec. I'm back. So, hi, my name is April. I'm a second year medical student. Hotter Lady of Fatima University and welcome to my life where I show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I have a small thing to share before I say goodbye finally. First off, this will be my last talking clip. I will be studying for the rest of the night until I either can't brain anymore or I fall asleep. So whichever comes first. And also I have very emotional lately. I think it's because of the time of the year. For six months of the year, I'm like really not that good with my emotions. And then the other half, I'm okay. And this is the half of the year I am not good anymore well with my emotions. It's usually September until March. So yeah, you're gonna hear a lot of this in the next couple of videos. And it's probably also because of a new change in my life. But um, yeah, that's it. Let's go study. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's go study now. Show my chips and call all in. I'll bet on myself, you keep stalling. I hear destiny and it's calling. I'll keep my head up high through the downs and lows and we're all going life. Still nobody knows, but I'ma choose what's right and take what comes and goes. And ain't no one in life holding me back no more. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But I'll be okay, I move on